Hello, this video is going to show you how to prepare a picture for creating a lithophane, which I'll do in another video. Um, there's more than one lithophane tool on the web, and but lithophanes for 3D printing tend to come out better if you prepare your fold photo to be black and white and consider the contrasting elements. So I have already opened a folder that contains the picture I want to work with. And by the way, I'm doing this tutorial only for Windows 10 because it's a system I work on. And really, I'm creating this specifically for a class where all of my students use the same Windows 10. Anyway, in Windows 10, if you double click your picture, it opens up in the Photos app provided within Windows 10, which I will now resize to my recording area. So we're going to take this picture and we're going to edit it so it's black and white and so it has decent contrasting things. And since I'm here, if you decide that you don't want all of this as part of your lithophane, I'm just going to go ahead and crop this because I don't think I need that window part in here. So I'm going to crop it down so I don't have to worry about the light coming in from the window. Um, I actually may cut it so it's basically just his front paws. Maybe I can move it a little bit this way and his scabby belly. Um, but I think I'd prefer this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and save a copy. And then I'm still in the Photos application. And now I'm going to go to Edit and Create and just go to Edit. This has a lot of filters and such inside. We're going to go straight to Adjustments. And you can see there's different um, sliders for light and color. I'm going to go straight to the color part because we want them to go black and white. So it's quickest to just slide that all the way over to the left. It's going to be black and white. And now what you want to do is you want to make some adjustments. So there's pretty sharp contrast between the light areas and the dark areas. Because what a lithophate does is it uses more 3D filament on the darker parts and less 3D filament on the lighter parts. So that when light shines through the back, more light gets through on the lighter parts, thus making it lighter in the photograph. And you'll see more of the, well, you won't entirely see it when we use the Lithophane app, but it is important to get a nice contrast. So I'm going to work on the contrast. Well, you can play with the clarity a little. I do that sometimes. And sometimes it's just good to pull it to each side to see, you know, what the difference is. I wouldn't recommend doing a Lithophane with any kind of, like, fuzziness. I mean, it would still work, but... You, you tend not to get the same effect. So I'm going to set the vignette back to zero. And I'm going to push the clarity to the further end. And even though this might make the picture look a little funny, it's actually okay because, you know, our end result is making the lithophane tool see the darks and lights more sharply. Um, I came into the filter area, but I actually didn't mean to. So let me go back to adjustments. Um, oh, it's the light. So if I go to light, you can see that if I push it all the way this way, I have a lot of light grays. And if I push it that way, I have a lot of dark grays. So you kind of want to find a happy medium where, depending on what you want to emphasize, you want to make sure you have good contrast. So if I were to keep it around here, his glasses are sharply different from, you know, the coat of her fur, etc. Um, and I probably wouldn't save down at this end because I'd rather have the light shining through. But yeah, with black and white, it's kind of hard to know exactly where to be. And quite honestly, the software does a good enough job. And if you print it at a high enough resolution, it's going to come through pretty well. But I think I like the contrasting shades here. 
Um, I'm happy with the clarity, I think. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with how the photo looks here. It's black and white. There's good contrast between the lighter grays and the darker grays. Um, and I think I'll go with this. So I'm just going to save a copy again. And I will remember that when I switch to the Lithophane app, that I'll be looking for Smart Nephew 3. Um, so make sure you know where your final copy gets saved. And if you want to go to the next step, just look for the video on creating lithophanes. Thanks.